Here's a couple things you want to think about as you get into the short-term vacation rental business. Number one, you want to find a market where it is already a thing, where it's been going on for years and you're not going to find any resistance. You're not going to have any resistance against the cities or the towns or the counties trying to prevent you from renting properties and on a short-term basis. And you want to make sure at the same time you understand what the rules and laws are and regulations, but there's a lot of areas on the coast, in the mountains, on the lakes, near universities. Well, not so much near universities, but coastal areas areas, mountains, lakes, places like that where short-term rental properties of all sizes and shapes where it's been a thing for years and years and years. So you want to go where the demand already is. You want to go where the numbers are proven and you want to look at what's called the gross rent multiplier and you want to buy the most income you can get for your dollar. So that's a real quick formula you can look at when you're evaluating properties. Most areas, if it's in a professional management company, if their management fees are in the 20% range for handling the property, then you can pretty much bet that all things being equal, taxes, insurance, all that kind of stuff, that you're going to be able to keep about 60 to 70% of the gross income to pay the mortgage and then have whatever kind of cash flow is left over. So a lot of these houses cash flow extremely well and they can be really, really good investments really because of the interest rates. You can get into these properties, a second home you can get into for as little as 10% down. The bigger homes you can still get into for as little as 10% down because you can get a first and put a second mortgage on the property. Then with interest rates as low as they are, they still cash flow like crazy. So that is a quick breakdown on the short term rental property business. I'm down here on the Outer Banks of North Carolina. This has been a short term vacation rental market since the beginning of this area. That's kind of what it's always been and houses do extremely well down here. So when you're looking for a short term vacation rental, make sure you look at a market where that's what it's been. That's where it's going on. There is no resistance. That's what the area is all about. It's cool. There's no evictions, no collections, no vacancies. You don't have to chase people down for rent. You don't have to worry about filling any vacancies any of that. Obviously some of them are seasonal so there's going to be times when you don't have renters but that's when you go and use the property and enjoy it or it just sits empty and it's just part of the business. So it's a great business model. There's all kinds of different houses that you can participate with. You can even do the master lease situation where you lease the property and then turn around and rent it out Airbnb with the permission of the owner of course and then like I said there's all shapes and sizes and types of properties. People rent and come down here and spend their vacation. Some houses are small and rent for a couple thousand a week. 1500 to two thousand to three thousand a week then there's some giant 16 18 20 28 bedroom houses that rent for 30 15 20 30 thousand a week so all types of properties you can get into they are the next best thing to commercial property or multifamily they're like little mini hotels mini multifamily properties very easy to manage good business to get into 